Good morning. I hope that you are doing well and feeling well and feeling confident about the developments happening at the moment. A little bit of opening up of the world, the economy, our lives. Please God, it's all only for the good. And in fact, exactly on that point, I was thinking that there's an inspiring thought out of this week's Torah portion, the parasha that's coming up later this week, where we're told, in fact, it's the last verse in the parasha. We're told that Hashem spoke to Moshe uh, on a regular basis. Now, of course, Hashem could speak to a person any place, any time that he chooses. But he always insisted that Moshe should come into the Ohel Moyed, into the place, the tent of meeting, the sanctuary, the Mishkan. That's where he would speak to him. And he would speak to him with an incredibly intense voice, the voice that the Jews heard at Mount Sinai that was so overwhelming that eventually they said, Moshe, Moshe, stop. Uh, please, could you step in and speak on Hashem's behalf? Because it's too much for us. But Moshe himself being such a in- spiritual person, so he could handle it. And nevertheless, the Torah makes a big deal over the fact that as loud and intense as that voice was, it never extended beyond the entrance of the Mishkan. And the Rebbe says that there's a lesson for us, and I think it's a le- lesson that is incredibly relevant right now. As life starts to open up again, kind of, tentatively stepping out of our cocoons where we've been for the last two months. And I really think that uh, this is a time to be extra responsible and extra careful. Uh, Effectively, it's the government saying we're now in charge of our own lives, which is very valuable to think about. It carries a tremendous amount of responsibility. And that's exactly the message. It's incredible. But that's exactly the message of this week's parasha. Why does the sound of Hashem's voice stop at the doorway of the Mishkan? Because the purpose of life is for people to have free choice and to be able to make decisions, not because somebody else has told them to, not because the authorities have clamped down on their lives, but because they take personal responsibility for their own lives. So if Hashem's voice boomed right through the whole camp, there would be no room for free choice. We'd all hear Hashem's message. We'd know exactly what it is that we're supposed to do. We wouldn't have the opportunity to make mistakes and therefore our choices, when they're wise choices, wouldn't actually have value. And this is very much what we're going through right now. There's a period of time, essentially, where the government kind of stepped in and said, look, there's a situation on our hands. We don't know exactly how it's all going to pan out. We have to do what is responsible to protect our citizens. But then, of course, they also had to take responsibility to allow us back into the world and to earn money and to get the economy going and and do things that are responsible. So this is the moment where the voice of, uh, you know, being told what to do stops, so to speak, at the door. And now the fundamental greatness of a human being steps in, the ability to make choices. And every single one of us is going to make choices over the coming weeks and months. Some of those choices will be mistaken and misguided choices. Hopefully most of those choices will be insightful and informed choices and healthy choices. And it's an incredible statement of trust in us which is not something that the South African government thought of of its own. It's something that Hashem built into the fiber of existence to trust human beings, knowing that we have the capacity to mess mess up in the most dramatic way and also knowing that we have the ability to make the most incredibly sound decisions. So I think we should see it as a vote of confidence that Hashem has in us and we should rise to the occasion and take really responsible attitude towards what's going to happen over the next coming weeks. Please God, we should all be safe. Please God, we should all do well. We should have success financially. We should have good health. We should have shalom bias. And please God, all good things that we wish for ourselves. Most importantly, we should have Moshiach now. Stay safe. Stay sane.